Should have plenty of mushrooms to fill all these jars. Can you ask why we're doing four jars of mushrooms? That's because one jar of mushroom generally lasts one day. So, hey everybody, welcome to Chef Dad. All right, so we're gonna get our mushrooms opened here. We're just gonna dump them all inside this, these two pots here. We're gonna boil these and clean them that way. And the reason that we're gonna do that is to tender, tenderize them up a little bit, but it's also to get them starting to break down so this pickling is gonna go into them really fast. We're gonna get them all spread out here. All right, then we're gonna take them right over here and we're gonna get some water in them. So we're just gonna go in there with some water. And we're wanting to cover everything up, but we're also gonna just, in the beginning here, add in a couple tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm gonna get them both turned on high and we're just gonna bring them up to a boil and let them boil for about five minutes. Then we'll take them out and we'll start boiling the uh, pickling solution that we're gonna create. All right, so I copped out. I'm not doing fresh garlic. We're doing bags of pre-peeled garlic. We're just gonna open them and we're gonna dump one whole thing in there. Into each one of these. There's one other thing that we're gonna put into the jars before that we're not gonna have to worry about boiling. It's our dried chives. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna get measured out our vinegar and water solutions. It'll be equal parts water to vinegar. There's two cups of water. And two cups of vinegar. So now, this is just however much you want is what you're gonna put in here. Uh, salt is the only thing that's going to be measured out because it has to be accurate for the most part. So we've got some bay leaves here, always peppercorns. And you could break the peppercorns if you want to, but I don't. And we got some whole thyme. And these are gonna get mixed. I'm just eyeballing my measurements here. Mustard seed. And you can see we're boiling over here on the mushrooms. All right, so those are mustard seeds. We're gonna go a little bit extra spicy on these ones this time. Not horrible, but our red chili flakes. So the only thing we got left is some dill seed. And last time I didn't add any dill weed in. And this is gonna be quite potent, but we're actually making this batch for our Kraken Bloody Mary and for our vodka jerky Bloody Mary. This is gonna have some extreme flavors. All right, so now we've got all of our seasonings laid out. As soon as these are done and I'm satisfied with the boiling, we'll pull them out, we'll fill them into the jars, and then we'll get our pickling solutions boiling, and then we'll pour them into the jars and let the pickling commence. Oh, crap, we didn't put the olive oil in there. Yeah, one thing I forgot, olive oil. Make sure you put your olive oil in. So we're gonna go in with a couple tablespoons. And this is really gonna help that flavor coat. And we're gonna make sure we remember our salt when we go in to start boiling our stuff. Oh, and this is super hot. So you could strain these off and filter that water, blah, 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 blah. But we got all that nasty stuff off there. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take our jars. Oh, we're gonna get the majority of that water off. Oh no, I lost one. Doug didn't come running in for the mushroom. So it's probably gonna end up with three jars, which is perfect, because I'll use that other one for something else. Oh, the dog's trying. Oh, oh, is he gonna get it? Look at the, nope, he turned away from the mushroom. He didn't want the mushroom. All right, so that amount of mushrooms fills three jars. So we're gonna get all this pickling solution going here and dump it right in. For each one of these solutions, you need a quarter cup of kosher salt. All right, now we're just gonna let these come back up to a boil and then we'll put it into the mushrooms. Been boiling for a few minutes here. <coughs> oh man, that is potent. Whew. These jars. We're just going to start filling it up. Okay, we might have made a lot of extra pickling solution. Nice. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and pickle some asparagus with this same stuff. So we're going to take this asparagus that showed up 
take our jar that we amazingly had uh, pre-set up as we planned on this. We're going to do a rough measurement of our asparagus. Oh yeah. Perfect. Very hot boiling jars out over here. Then we're just going to top off the rest of these jars. So we're going to go ahead with the asparagus. We're going to top off these other two. And you can see I'm not leaving head space in here because it's a quick pickle. I'm not canning these. I'm going to save some of this solution as those mushrooms absorb up that pickling solution. We will go ahead and we will add some more to it throughout the next few hours. But these will be ready to eat in a few hours. We're just going to flip these over every so often. And what that's going to do is it's just going to evenly coat everything with the oil and make sure everything's got the, the pickling solution everywhere. It's going to be our Christmas. This is going to be our Christmas? We're going to figure out how to ship stuff to everybody <laughs> out of Alaska. Oh, man. That smells so good. Smell that. It's mm. very hot. That very hot. So good. <laughs> it would make one hell of a salad dressing. Mm -hmm. Nice vinaigrette. Try them in probably two, three hours. They'll be they'll be set and ready, and they'll just get better and better. Um, we've never had them last more than a week, so. Well, I lie. We left the day after I made them, so they lasted three weeks, and then when we got home, they all got eaten. So, see you in a few hours. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. That camera's not looking at me at all, right? So I need to I need to look at this one. Yeah, I need to stop looking at that. Yeah, don't worry about that. I need to look at you over here. All right. <laughs>